What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp tutorial for you. So this week I'm going to show you how to create kind of a spiraling Christmas tree shape uh, with a Helix plug-in. So um, it's kind of like uh, some of those lights that you may see along the side of the road, but we're going to learn how to create this shape right here with the... Uh, with the uh, tube spiraling all the way to the top. And uh, we're going to use a plugin for this. Um, the plugin that we're going to use is called Draw Helix Along Curve, or actually it's just called Helix Along Curve. And you can get that plugin by going through the Sketchication extension store. You can also go to Sketchication and search the plugin store there and download it there. So you can just come in here and you can just search Helix. And it's going to be Helix Along Curve right here. So you can go ahead and install that. And if you don't have the uh, Sketchication plugin store, you can go to sketchication.com and just click on the button that says Plugin Store. And it'll give you instructions on how to install this. So um, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to lead off just by drawing a path. Because what this plugin does is it creates a helix shape around a path. So let's go ahead and just come in here and draw this. And we can say that it's probably four feet high. So we'll start with our path right here. I know the plugin is called Helix Along Curve, but it really doesn't matter if your curve or if your path curves or not. It just matters if you have a path. So once you've kind of drawn your line right here, what you can do is you just come in here and you click on your line once to select your path. Then come up here and click on this Helix Along Curve icon right here. And if you don't see that after you've installed it, you can go to View, Toolbars, and select Helix Along Curve. But go ahead and just click this Helix Along Curve icon, and uh, that'll pull up this menu that has a whole bunch of different options in it. And um, this is really kind of a robust plugin for creating helixes or shapes that kind of spiral. And basically what it does is it takes a curve from one radius on the bottom to another radius on the top. So radius one is going to be the width of the circle at the bottom. Radius two is going to be the width of the circle at the top. So what you can come in here and do is you can set radius one to 12 inches. You can set radius two to one inch and that means it's going to spiral from a 12 inch circle to a one inch circle and uh, you can also set um, how many laps it does how many sections per lap stuff like that uh, sections per lap is just the number of segments of line in every circle so anyway we're going to come in here and we're going to knock this number of laps down to about 12 and then uh, you got a whole bunch of other options down here that you don't really need to worry about. You don't need to worry about any of these phase or noise or any of that stuff. Uh, you do probably want to create a tube in here because otherwise this will just draw a line that spirals up. So we're going to go ahead and create a tube and probably knock the radius of the tube down to... Let's start off with a quarter inch and see what that gives us. Um, and then uh, sides of the tube is just uh, the number of segments in the circle that it extrudes along your shape to create your tube. So anyway, you've got all this stuff in here. So once you've got all this stuff entered, go ahead and click this OK button. And that's going to draw your, your uh, shape right here. So, and you know what, I'm actually going to come back. And I think I'm just going to, instead of doing a quarter inch, I'm going to say a half inch and see how that looks. So go ahead and draw your tube. There we go. So now we've got this cool kind of spiraling Christmas tree shape. We've got our shape in here. And now what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and draw a little circle in the middle here. And we can just call that a half inch as well. And use push pull to extrude that up to the top about right here and all I'm really doing you don't have to do this but all I'm really doing right here is I'm just creating something that I can set my star on top of you could just extend your initial path if you wanted to but we're gonna come in here and we're just gonna draw kind of a box so let's do this I'll type something in so let's say we go three inches this way six inches high six inches across so we'll have kind of a square up here. And all we're doing is we're giving ourselves a canvas to go ahead and draw our star on. And then we're going to extrude that. So in order to draw a star, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to draw a polygon. Um, but you're going to draw a five-sided polygon. So you can come over here and select this polygon tool. And then um, once you've selected that, just type in five. 
and hit the enter key and you see how this changes into a pentagon right here that's what you want is a pentagon type shape and then uh, you can go ahead and use inferencing to find the center of this and then we're just going to come in here and I'm just going to draw this up to the top here just like this so we've got a pentagon shape so now what you're going to do because all a pentagon is is just a set of lines that go from the points on a pentagon so you're just going to draw in here all of these lines and now you've got you see how you've got a star shape in here so now you can come in here and erase out all these lines and you can also erase all of these lines All right, so now you've got that, and you can just kind of extrude this to, let's say we do a quarter inch each direction. So we'll do a quarter inch on the front. Whoops, and a quarter inch on the back, right here. You know what, we'll make it even wider than that. Let's go ahead and extrude it to the width of our post right here because what we're going to do is we're going to take that post and we're going to go ahead and extrude it up into the bottom of our star to kind of support it so we can bring that up here you can also put your star in a group like this and then you can just kind of move it down so you can just move this straight down using inferencing so that your star is sitting right on top of your tree just like this so now you've got this cool Christmas spiraling Christmas tree shape with a star on the top and you can get fancier with stuff like this I mean always feel free, you know, this is just kind of a starting point You could probably come in here with like round corner or something like this and make this look a little bit or more organic um, Or you could probably come in here and create a whole bunch of different things But this is just kind of a starting point just a quick easy way to come in here and create this spiraling Christmas tree type shape and you can also come in here and select these faces and make them different materials and stuff like that. You can really kind of go crazy with this. But um, anyway, so this is just a quick, easy way to use a helix along curve to create a spiraling Christmas tree shape. So anyway, I just wanted to say Merry Christmas to you guys. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And um, if you wouldn't mind taking a second and clicking that like button down below, I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you're new around here, make sure you click that subscribe button. I'm coming out with new SketchUp content every week. I'd love to have you along for the ride. And um, as always, leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Um, if you're using this plugin, um, if you like this, if you didn't like it, you know, I'm really open to feedback. I respond to all the comments down below. I'd love to just kind of have a conversation with you guys about SketchUp. So that's where I'm going to end today's show. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.